Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Flantech. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Impact Qualite 300 Continuous Video, Continuous Lighting Kit for uh, film and video. Now I got these lights, uh, it came in a set of two. It came with this light, another light that I'm using to film right now. Uh, I got these lights about two or three years ago off of Amazon. They're still listed for I think $240. And of course, I was looking for a video kit, uh, a lighting kit. I didn't know what to buy. I chose these over LEDs for uh, multiple reasons. I didn't want, uh, I guess, I mean, it was really only $40 extra compared to another kit that had two large LED lights. And these, I like the uh, brighter, warmer feel to them. I just got blinded by that light. I forgot to put a cover up, but, uh, yeah, they have a warmer feel to them. Uh, they're much brighter. And also for the whole kit, it came with two of the lights. It came with two light stands, which I'm using all my light stands right now. Uh, it came with two sets of barn doors. And, uh, oops. And then it also came with two umbrellas if you want to diffuse the light. So, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, overall, it was a great kit. Uh, I use it every time I shoot. Well, I don't want to say every time I shoot a short film, but anytime I need the light, those are my go-to lights. Uh, and I just, I really love this set, and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you're into LEDs, then, I mean, go for an LED, but I really like the feel of these lights. They're much warmer, and I'll show you that in just a second. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and get into some of the features. So it has a, uh, a cord coming out of the back, and this may be one of, I don't want to say it's flaws, I mean the cord isn't that long, uh, but yeah, like I'm filming in a small room, so I'm fine, you can plug it into the wall, but if you're filming in a large room, you may need an extension cord. Uh, I don't want to unplug it because then I can't show you the light, but, uh, and then it has, of course, has the barn doors, the barn doors to it, which work really nice to help you control the light, and I'll go ahead and turn the light on, so you can see how bright it is. But I mean, yeah, it's extremely bright. I don't know if it's bad to shine it directly into the camera, but I'll do it for a second, yeah. So I mean, it's really bright. Uh, you can focus it, of course, and depending on what you need. And of course, you can always use the barn doors to control how much or, you know, if it goes off too far and makes a camera glare or something, you can always turn that off. So yeah, and, and as you can see, it has a much warmer, feel to it than the LEDs normally do. But, uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and close this. And let's see, yeah, so it has the light focus, and it also has, you know, it has this where you can put it on the light stand, but it also has a uh, adjuster. Let's see if I can get that unscrewed. Oh, it's not on anything, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it has an adjuster, so you can point it up, uh, you can point it down, you can point it straight, uh, you know, anything you need, really. So, I mean, it can go all angles. Uh, it's just, I mean, overall, it's just, overall, this whole this whole setup is great. You get two lights, uh, bar doors, umbrellas, light stands, and uh, so, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's really just a great setup overall, a great kit. Uh, I highly recommend it. I'd say really the only downside to this is you have to change the light bulbs if they go out or in the fuses if it blows a fuse and luckily uh, when you when you change the light bulbs you can't touch it with your hand luckily I had a cousin tell me this before I broke all of my light bulbs but uh, if you touch it with your hand you'll get some of the oil on the bulb and when the bulb heats up it will uh, it'll explode and break the bulb uh, luckily he told me so what you have to do you have to get like a, a plastic bag a ziploc bag or something and grab the light bulb and then you, that's the only way you can really put it in which really isn't that much of a downside the only other downside is that the uh, light will get really hot on most areas. The only place it really won't get hot is the handle and uh, the part that connects to the light stand, which is actually just what you need. So even if it's burning hot, you can still unscrew it, grab it by the handle, and you're good. So that really isn't much of a problem either. So really this is, like I said, I mean, over and over, I mean, it's a great kit. I use it as much as possible whenever I'm filming and I need that extra lighting. I, that's what I always, this is my go-to lighting kit. So anyway, I'll put a link 
in the description to Amazon. I encourage you to check it out. Be sure to like this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to see us review any products. And be sure to subscribe for more updates on all the latest camera products and camera accessories. This is Flantech, and I'll see you next time.